everyone, it's me, Pat. As you might recall, I have said in the letter that I sent out to with the last video, with our gospel story in it, that I would try and get some crafts together and maybe some things that could help remind you of the lesson that we learned. So just as a reminder, if you can see, I made a little sign right here just to help us to remember. And it says, pray with me. And that was the big lesson from our gospel reading. You might recall that Jesus gathered a few of his disciples, his good friends with him, and he took them to the Garden of Gethsemane, and he asked them to wait. Well, he went off to a special place to pray. Jesus was scared, and he needed some time to pray. So I thought from that reading, we could do some crafts that help us remember to pray. In this time of coronavirus, we might be feeling a little scared. So it's always good to take some time to go and pray and to talk to God about our fears and to pray for those people in our lives who might be experiencing fear. So a couple things that I came up with. One was really simple, a garden gate. I just took some old crop sticks or popsicle sticks and I glued them together. Now, you might want to color these. You might want to paint them. I didn't, I just glued them together. And I have four along the back and three horizontally. And I wrote the words, pray with me. And I tied a ribbon to the top. Now, you might want to draw or color some flowers on yours. I cheated a little bit and put stickers on mine because I like stickers. So you can decorate it any way you want then uh, and hang it somewhere that will remind you, oh yeah, I can go and pray. That's what Jesus did when he was feeling afraid. The other thing that I thought of was that Jesus went into the garden. So it got me thinking about gardens and how we could make that part of our crafting. So you can always find some sort of pot or container and just put a special plant, a special tree in it. You might want to put the words, pray with me. But then it's spring. Everybody is so anxious to be outside and get some fresh air and get some exercise this time, especially. So I thought about drawing a tree, a kind of prayer tree, but I went on a walk and I found these great branches and I just glued them to a big piece of paper glue them to cardboard. You could put them in your pot if you want, stick them into some little rocks in there. And I drew some leaves and some flowers and I just wrote the people, the things that I needed to say a prayer for. An important thing from the gospel as well was that Jesus had a special place to go and pray. And this made me think about something I learned once about the Inuit culture. And in the Inuit culture, they often build inukshuks. This is the word inukshuk, if you do want to go into a bit of research on it. Um, an inukshuk is used in the Inuit culture when they needed to mark a special place or to help them find or remember their direction. It was used for navigation. And I think that's so important. Prayer is a way for us to navigate through any difficult time, any glory, any happy time in our lives. We use prayer to ground us, to navigate us. And so I thought that an Inukshuk would be a really great thing that we could make anywhere. Now, I happen to have found these stones uh, on my, one of my beach walks. You could make them with smaller stones. You could make them with larger ones. You could make a great one in your yard with cement blocks if you happen to have some around back there. The important thing is that it marks a special place. Now, you can pile the rocks in any shape, but when you pile them to look like a person, as you can see, I kind of tried to put two arms here and a head on top. It's a symbol that means hope and friendship. And I think that's a perfect marker for our place where we remember, like Jesus asked, to pray with me. So good luck, have fun, and find a special place where you can go and pray.